In this video, I want to talk to you about assignments. Um, in the modules video, I introduced assignments as something that you could put into your modules. Um, and assignments are the uh, things that students will do for a grade. So under the umbrella of assignments, you would have any sort of assignment that they would submit. You'd also have quizzes and graded discussions, uh, but we'll talk about those separately because they're created separately. And in this section, we'll focus only on assignments that are actual um, submissions that the students would make. Um, anything that you want them to do for a grade you should set up as, as an assignment. As you can see here, um, I set one up in this module. Um, I, there's a couple different ways to get it there. All right. If you know you want a specific assignment for a specific module, you can actually click this plus, choose assignment, and make a new assignment and just start it right there in the module. That way it's automatically in the module. It also appears on the assignments uh, page in Canvas. If you've already created the assignment, which you can also do from the assignments page, I'll show you that in a minute, you can just pick it from the list um, and add it to your module. Now I have a very um, simple assignment here. Um, this is just a uh, sort of a holder so I can show you um, some different things about setting up an assignment. But the first thing I want to say, and this doesn't model that, is that think about the fact that you are in an online class when you're setting this assignment up. You need to give the students everything they need to know to be able to successfully complete the assignment. So you probably want to give them kind of a, a goal, a learning outcome maybe. You want to give them some background information if they need it. And then you want clear and explicit instructions. Ideally, have your instructions be a numbered list or a bulleted list, something that lets them go through and make sure check off each of the things that they need to do to make sure that they get it. Obviously, that'll vary by assignment. Um, the more information you give them, the less um, the more, or the more likely they are to succeed. I do recommend um, every time you use an assignment, you make notes about uh, the questions you got from students or the problems you got with their submissions and see if you can't modify your instructions to address those things in future assignments. That's just good practice. Once you have the assignment created, and I'm going to hit edit here and we'll look at that. Um, Okay, you can type all the instructions right in there, uh, similar to the way I showed you in pages for setting things up and using these, these tools. Um, but then you have things that you need to decide. How many points is my assignment worth? And to a certain extent, that matters, okay? Um, if you're using straight points to calculate grades, then the point value is an indicator to the student of the worth of that assignment. So if you had a point assignment worth 50 points and one worth five points, then the student's going to assume that they're going to do one fifth of the amount of work for that five point assignment. So um, it is conveying a message whether you intend it to or not. Um, if you're using percents, um, it may not matter quite as much, but again, just think about the message you're sending them when you set up that assignment. Um, assignment groups will look at closer when um, I click on the assignment page, but if you've already set up your groups, you can pick what group it goes into. You can actually dis display the grade as either a percentage, a complete incomplete, that means they just get a check for, for doing it, um, points. Uh, give them a leather grade, GPA, so you have a lot of options. Points or percentage are probably the most popular. Um, if the student is not something that counts for their final grade, you can tell right there. It'll still show up in the grade book, but it won't be included in the calculations. Uh, submission type is also important for an online course. I would guess most of the time you're going to choose online um, submission, but there are other options uh, if there's an external tool that you link to or if for some reason you want them to hand in a hard copy um, for that or if it's something that there's nothing for them to submit because they're doing something else, uh, you can pick that. But most likely you'll choose online. Then you can tell them the format. So are they linking to a web page? Is it some sort of recording? Is it most commonly a file upload? And you can specify, you know, if there's certain types of files you don't want. Um, and if you want to use Turnitin, um, which is the plagiarism checker, uh, this is all happens right here under submission type. If it's a group assignment, which we're not 
not going to get into in this series of videos, but if it's a group assignment, that lets you assign the same grade to all the group members. Um, and then the assignment dates, okay? So you would specify who to assign to, if it's, you know, other than the whole class. What day is it due? Um, available from means it doesn't open till a certain time, and available till means it will close at a certain time. So you could set the due date and the close date, or the until date, at the same time date or you could have you know kind of a grace period so if it doesn't come in when it's due it comes in after there's different ways to approach that um, what you put here on the due date then kind of um, nudges the student by showing up in their to-do list uh, for that if you need to change one of those dates for a student you can click this plus button the add button here and pick a student uh, to change that for. So if someone needs an extension for whatever reason, you can um, use the add to do that. All right, so once you have that assignment all set up, as I said, if you're using modules, which I strongly suggest you do, you would add it to the module. But you also have this assignments page. And having this separate from the modules tends to be, it's not confusing, um, per se, but sometimes people get a little confused by that. So anything that's in assignments is something that the students need to do and that they get a grade for it. And as you can see, I have assignments, um, quizzes show up here, um, assignments show up here, graded discussions if you have those. Let's see, I have a couple examples of those. Um, if you are using grade weights or if you want to group things for any other reason, um, you this is where you would do it. Okay, You can click plus group that lets you give a group name. Um, maybe I have one on uh, final project. Okay, so I have that and it shows up down here as a group. Then I can move my assignments to um, the appropriate group. Okay, maybe this is my final project. So I can drag that down there um, and, and set that up. Now, if you're using grade weights this is how you would do that you would come up here to the snowman up here and you would choose assign groups weight and tell it to weight the final grade based on assignment groups and then you can say my assignments are 25 percent my research paper is 15 percent my final exam is 10 percent quizzes are 20 percent and I guess my final project will be 30 percent so it adds up to 100 okay so you hit save and it will use those grade weights to calculate your grade for your course. If you don't want to use grade weights or you don't have grade weights, you don't need to have groups. You could have everything under assignments. It wouldn't matter. Um, but just keep in mind, if you're going to create an assignment here, and you can hit plus assignment here, or you can do the same within the group to add an assignment to a group. Um, if you create it here, you need to go in and add it to the module. It will not automatically appear in the module. So, um, And I do suggest putting it in the um, module so the students can find it. Okay, So that's kind of an um, introduction to assignments. And uh, we'll talk about special, special types of assignments like quizzes and uh, graded discussions in other videos.